Hi, my name is Mahek. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to master advanced level skills in Cinemagraph creation and editing using Quixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS. If this is the first time that you're using the app, I would recommend that you take a look at the Getting Started tutorial, where you will learn about the entire Cinemagraph creation process. Or if you are just starting to dig deeper into the app, check out the intermediate tutorial where you will learn about precise editing skills in masking, looping, and color adjustments. But if you're comfortable with the app and familiar with the different types of editing options, you're probably ready to advance your skills to the highest level. So let's dive in. We are going to create a cinemagraph that relies just as much on the production process as it does on the editing process. Creating a cinemagraph that involves isolating a movement on a subject that is supposed to stay still is often quite challenging because the subject must stay still at the exact same time. For this cinemagraph, I filmed Cassandra stirring the milk in her tea using my camera on a tripod. In order to capture a motion that will loop seamlessly, Cassandra needs to be completely still while maintaining a consistent stir with her right hand. Her hand can move, but it has to be the same motion over and over and over again. Here are two tips that you can use to create a shot like this for your cinemagraph. Firstly, film multiple takes so that you have options. Secondly, ensure that there is a clean line of separation between the limb in motion and the rest of the body. In this shot, you can see the separation at Cassandra's wrist. After a few takes, import the footage into Cinemagraph Pro. Select both the video and still image by moving the trimmer and the still image selector respectively. If you want to perfect your repeat loop, you need to consider the in and out points of the video footage that you selected for your cinemagraph. I selected a point that occurs right before Cassandra finishes her clockwise stir as my out point. Let's move that out point a little bit more and great, there we go. Achieve the perfect loop by selecting an out point that appears just before your in point. Next, you're going to mask using the brush tool. Mask Cassandra's hand stirring, then blend it all the way into the sleeve of her shirt, adjusting the hardness and opacity along the way. Start by masking with a smaller brush size and a lower hardness in the entire area that you want to mask. Here's an editing tip. Zoom into your cinemagraph to ensure that you are editing as precisely as possible. To zoom in, press Command and the plus sign on your keyboard at the same time, so you can ensure your masking is as clean as you want it to be. If we stopped here, we wouldn't achieve the seamless blend that we want. Adjust the eraser tool with a low hardness and half opacity to blend the edges together. To see how your editing fits in with the rest of your cinemagraph, simply press Command and Zero to view it. Click on the Loop tab in the menu to the right of your cinemagraph. Since you are creating a cinemagraph that contains an illusion of continuous stirring, we are going to use the Repeat Loop. Adjust the crossfade slightly to create your seamless motion. Check out that perfect loop. The next tab is the Still Image tab. If you want to add text or edit your selected still image, you can export it to an external photo editing app, modify it, and import it back. Just remember that if you make changes to the color and tone of the still image, it will no longer match the video you shot for your cinemagraph. You're probably already aware of the presets available to you, but we get it. To make your cinemagraph truly your own, you can edit your cinemagraph exactly how you would like to using the color correcting, light, and tone curve elements in the adjustments tab. The tone curve adjustments are particularly helpful as they allow you to make in-depth adjustments to your cinemagraphs. You can make adjustments to the blacks, shadows, highlights, and whites, while the RGB tab is selected, which will modify the look of your entire cinemagraph. When you select the red tab, you can focus on changing the individual elements in your cinemagraph. The same is applicable to the green and blue color tabs. I want to create a cinemagraph with a slightly cooler feel, so I'm going to go ahead and take the red out of the blacks. 
I am happy with these settings, but I recommend that you continue to experiment with these features to create a look that is one of a kind. And at the end of it all, you can save your own custom presets that you can use across any cinemagraph created using the app. Wow, you just created a cinemagraph worthy of some of our top creators. So let's make sure it gets shared. Export your cinemagraph and select the MP4 format along with the repetitions or select one of the optimized presets so that you can instantly share your cinemagraphs across social media. Make sure you upload your work to your Flixel.com gallery, where your cinemagraphs will live infinitely and beautifully. We love to see, share, and feature cinemagraphs created by our fantastic community. To find more inspiration on how to reach your cinemagraph goals, make sure you check out our curated Flixel.com gallery and all of the tips, tricks, and news that we share on our social media channels. We are constantly creating new resources to help you along your cinemagraph journey. We love profiling creators, sharing brand stories, and featuring work from our community. We can't wait to see what you bring to life in your next cinemagraph. Make sure to keep in touch. We'll see you soon.